Hey guys, I'm Rindon with TJ Free, and in this video, I want to share with you five of the best free animation programs available. These programs are Pencil 2D, Krita, Sozi, Blender, and OpenTunes. And all these programs are completely free to download and use. They run on Windows, Linux, and Mac, and they're amazing. You can create all kinds of cool things with them. In this video, we're just going to dive in and take a quick sneak peek at each one. But if you want to learn how to use them, I also have tutorials teaching how to use this software here on this channel. Let's take a look. The first one we'll look at is OpenTunes. OpenTunes used to be a closed and proprietary software, but it was recently made open source. It's historically only been used in very high-end studio production for professional animations. I have my kids use it. It has a very intuitive interface. This is my daughter using it to create a basic animation. So they took to it pretty well. This just goes to show it's very easy to use as well, um, but incredibly, incredibly powerful. Here's a demonstration of the mesh tool where you bring in a still image, you apply this mesh and create a skeleton, and then you can move that skeleton around to create uh, either simple or advanced animations without having to redraw the image frame by frame every time. You can work with both uh, vector and raster images, so bitmap and vector. Uh, it has a strong node base editor and you can interact with the different effects. Here's uh, the skeleton tool that's not using the mesh, so this is bringing in individual vector elements and then building a skeleton to them. You can set keyframes, has a really good X sheet and timeline. It's 2D, but it does have a Z axis, so you can work in 3D space somewhat. It's not completely 3D. Um, just a really cool tool. Um, go ahead and check out uh, the links in the description to learn how to download this and uh, get started using it if it looks interesting to you. The next program we'll look at is Blender. Now Blender is a 3D modeling program, but it does have a really good 2D uh, drawing and animation, um, really good tools in this latest 2.8 release. They really revamped the grease pencil and it has good drawing tools. And probably one of the strongest things um, for Blender is that it does have that true 3D space. Here's a time lapse of some drawing. Uh, most of the things we're looking at here, you can actually download the source files um, I just downloaded these from Blender, and you can actually download them and see what's happening under the hood. So it's there's a really large community of artists and creators and lots of good tutorials surrounding Blender. That's one of the huge, uh, huge benefits of using Blender as a 2D animation tool. Um, you can do frame-by-frame -frame animation. Uh, you can set uh, have really good control over your different palettes and different uh, materials and styles. Um, like I said, you can work in the 3D space really well to create some sort of 2D, 3D looks. So uh, a really good tool to look at if you're interested in 2D animation, especially if you already have experience using Blender. This next program is Sozi. Sozi doesn't have any built-in drawing tools and it's more of a presentation tool, but it allows for vector animation and it's very basic and easy to use. So you create the artwork in something like Inkscape. It accepts an SVG file and then you choose how the camera pans around and rotates and interacts and what part of the canvas you're able to see. You can also use this to create basic animations because you can animate uh, you can control the position and location and the viewability or the visibility of each individual layer. One of the great things is it gives you all the code, it gives you um, the HTML and JSON file. You can embed this in a website. So if you want to create animations for the web, this might be a good tool to do, especially if you have more of a programming web developer background. Uh, like I said, it's a very basic tool. It's still under active development, um, and there's, it's a pretty small development team, but something to look into if you're interested in animating vector graphics, especially if you want to embed them in a website. There is a third-party plugin to export the final result in a video format as well. This next program is Krita. Krita is an outstanding program for creating digital art. It has great support for working with layers and different brushes and really just helps you recreate that feeling of creating a traditional painting on a canvas but in a digital format. It also has a built-in timeline for 2D animation. So this timeline supports multiple layers. You have access to all the great art creation tools available in Krita. Uh, but the animation part is a, kind of a secondary feature added in. The primary focus is just creating art. People use this for comic books. People use it for all kinds of fan art creation uh, and just any kind of art that you can imagine. Anything you could paint on a canvas, you can paint digitally. This is very commonly used together with a drawing tablet. Um, and it just has excellent, excellent support for drawing. You can bring in um, vector art. You can bring in uh, raster or bitmap images. And then you can keyframe those. 
Uh, you can change the camera view, what the camera can see. And so everything that we've seen uh, in these other programs, of course, uh, Krita can do as well. It's a great tool to look into, especially if you're using a drawing tablet. Of all the ones in this list, this probably has the best support uh, for creating art with a drawing tablet. This last program is Pencil 2D. Pencil 2D is a great program if you're just getting started with animation or if you're overwhelmed with some of the options that the other programs provide. This has a much more basic, much more easy to understand interface with very simple tools. You can work in vector or raster, and it's very good for just drawing frame by frame. So it doesn't have all of the more advanced keyframe features, although you can do some keyframing. You can work with multiple layers, including a camera layer and audio layers. And the vector portion is not fully uh, running yet, but most I would recommend working in bitmap for the at the time being. This program is also still under um, active development. It does work with a drawing tablet, uh, and I, I would say all the programs um, you can use a drawing tablet with that we've covered in this list, I should mention. It has really good support for bringing in external artwork as well, so you can bring in background images, and you can bring in just different images that you maybe create in other programs, and you can animate them just using pencil. So you could use this as a part of your workflow if you didn't want to create the art and just use it for the, the frame by frame animation. And then you can export uh, in a movie format, you can export still images uh, or an animated image as well. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.